take a little bit of a deeper depth into this trailer right now. Looking at this, it reminds me of a place where there is no rules, there is no bounds. And you know what I think about this? Chaos Realm. There's no real type of structure. Doesn't seem like there's any ruler, unless if you're talking about Titan Havoc. Titan Havoc is probably the ruler that, because that's how he rules. If you remember, from Mortal Kombat Deception, one of the very few games in the Mortal Kombat series that actually showed all of the different realms that are present from Earth Realm, Outworld, Edenia, Chaos Realm, the Nether Realm, Order Realm. You get what I'm saying? This is fascinating, honestly. You see that we have Sector and Cyrax here, right? Who's this? Who is this is the real question. Is this, is this Jade? And if so, that would mean that Jade has been relegated to a cameo based character because there has been an announcement who the six main characters are for year two. It's really hard to kind of, it's really hard if you try to play it. Yeah. It's hard to kind of see, but there's no one else in the game that really lo that, that looks I like that. Sick. There's no one else. Grid laws. No divine rules. Here what he says right here. There are no sacred laws. No divine rules. What did that sound like? That truly sounds like chaos realm, does it not? And then if you look at all of these, these are all havocs. And they all kind of look, they all look different. But what is right? there's still havoc in ev in every way, shape, or the form. The choose to bless all beings everywhere with anarchy anarchy is also a key of chaos realm as well let real warriors handle this i wonder i wonder what made mortal kombat or what made nether realm actually do the gender swap for for sector as well as cyrax and then also taking up two more slots even though we already have them as uh, as cameos, which is just odd in a way. Like this right here into a launch and hover in the air, kind of using jetpacks there. Boom, there we go. Kind of like a little bit of Homelander action. Sector has always been that kind of character. So this is cool. Strong combo. And then I think we also see the flamethrower, which has always been something from Sector, except it's not really like a, it's a flamethrower from the fist. Okay, that's sick. And then we also get a little bit of Cyrax gameplay too. You see, got a projectile that kind of, in a way, resembles the net that Cyrax has, where it's kind of stuck, but it's definitely in a different form has some type of projectile bomb launch into the air boom we got another one there as well launch boom boom crazy ridiculous air throw noob cybot just coming out of the freaking mold like this bro crazy crazy i'm not really sure what this green kind of represents because the only times we really see green like that is with Ermac and Quan Chi. And those are people that have control of souls. So this very well can be like, hey, this is an indicator of a transformed soul or soul that's under control. All this is just theoretical, hypothetical. But my favorite part in the trailer is when, when this buddy is freaking talking. You sound like Bihan. I am he, though not as you remember. And he said, he perfected me. What did Havoc do to you? He perfected me. Gross, man. The aura on this freaking dude is absurd. Now we're going to see a little bit of Noob Cybot's moveset. Got his, got his little shadow clone action. It's actually a launching throw. Full combo. Straight teleport into the slam, still has that. That is really a signature new side bot based move. I didn't using the shadow. That's also as bit as a move too. Into the teleport. Oh, that has a little knockdown, a little knockdown action as well. Huh. Now this right here, 
this. This is why I think that all of the realms are present, man, because there are six here. And I think each one of these indicators, like the Infinity Stones, they represent a different realm. So this guy has some type of maximum power from each of the realms of his time and is bringing it into here. That has to be what it is. This guy's a bad dude, man. He's a bad dude. And then look at this. Liu Kang, Raiden, Kung Lao. Liu Kang, the protector was the protector of earth realm raiden in this game was deemed the protector of earth realm and then you know we have obviously we have kung lao here where you know there was definitely times where he was probably destined to be the protector of earth realm too so you have all three of these guys getting their shine against titan havoc with all of those stones like all of these cin cinematics are absolutely amazing, incredible. That's something that NetherRealm Studios has always done an amazing job on. No matter what, it's always been top of the class. And then we see something right here at the end where Titan Havoc, all of these powers activate. I don't know, turns into a different type of form or something like that, elevates himself, maybe. That's how the trailer ends. So please let me know what you think what I'm thinking, we can always talk about in the comments, especially if you love Mortal Kombat, and if anything else that you saw in this trailer that I might have missed, that I might have got wrong. All right.